So this here is the brand new BenQ EX 2780Q HDRI gaming monitor. And yes, I did say HDR with an I. Featuring an immersive 27 inch QHD bezel-less display, a P3 wide color gamma with HDR, an insane 144 hertz refresh rate, free sync support, and powerful built-in 2.1 channel speakers with a five watt subwoofer. There's a lot to love about this display over here. And actually thinking about it for the price, I could very well consider this to be the best, most well-rounded gaming display that's available on the market today. What is up, my friends? It's Ray back here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at BenQ's latest flagship gaming display, the EX2780Q. If you've watched any of my recent videos, you may have actually noticed a monitor pop up in the background of my new video set, and you actually guessed it, it is the EX2780Q. This thing is just a beauty from top to bottom, and I'm really excited to have such a modern display in my new gaming slash studio workspace. And throughout this video, I'm actually going to tell you why that is. Before we get into things though, let's just do a quick little unboxing so you guys can actually see what is included with this monitor. As I mentioned earlier, the EX2780Q offers a pretty impressive yet very versatile set of features. What I really like here is that you actually have a variety of built-in presets, not only for the display, but for the speakers as well. So there are many different customization options available so you can get exactly what you want out of this monitor. Around the back, you're gonna find a variety of connectivity options, two HDMI ports, a display port, a USB-C port, and a headphone jack. You guys know I'm not a hardcore PC gamer by any means, so when it comes to gaming monitors and displays, I really only test them out by gaming on my Switch and streaming some movies. Based on that, if you're in the market for a new display for streaming content or for your Switch, this is gonna be a great choice for you that you definitely should not overlook. And I'm sure this thing is gonna look just as good, if not better, when you push it to its limits with a PC or a PS4 or an Xbox One. Throughout my time with this display, I actually found the colors to be very rich and vibrant. Whether it was with games or with movies, content on this screen just pops. What I also really like is that, as I mentioned earlier, there are a number of built-in presets here, so you can actually tweak the look that you're seeing on the screen to pretty much whatever you want. What's new this time around though is the inclusion of HDRI and this is one of the things that actually makes the EX2780Q unique because it's actually BenQ's first display to take advantage of this new technology. HDRI is basically emulated HDR combined with BenQ's signature Brightness Intelligence Plus and Brightness Intelligence Plus is something that you're going to find in almost all BenQ monitors nowadays and it basically helps limit brightness to help with eye fatigue. In short, HDRI is meant to enhance enhance HDR content by combating overexposure. For example, if you're watching Star Wars or something like that and there's an explosion in a space battle, you're gonna see greater detail in the explosion and it's not gonna be like a horribly overexposed blob on the screen. Again though, if you're not a fan of the look, you can always give regular emulated HDR a try which makes games on the darker side like Luigi's Mansion 3 look really, really great. To give you guys a little example into these presets, here's what Asphalt 9 Legends looks like on Nintendo Switch. You can easily see the big difference in the brightness and the colors that these different HDRI and HDR presets bring to the table. I think what really took me by surprise though about this display is its built-in sound quality. Right out of the box, you're getting some pretty loud 2.1 channel speakers in the front and a booming five watt subwoofer around the back from Travalo. These things are gonna have no problem filling up a medium sized room with clear sound. In fact, I think this is the only monitor that I've ever considered not attaching external speakers to as they really aren't needed. 
All right, guys, so I'm on the other side of my basement over here. The monitor is way over there. You can see it with Dragon Ball Z fighters on the screen. And it is really loud. This thing is like filling up my entire basement with sound. This thing is booming. What's also nice here is that like the display, you can tweak the quality of your sound to your liking with five built-in presets for games, movies, and more. Each one offers a way to bring out the best in your content and sound great in the process. Overall, the BenQ EX 2780Q is a beautiful display that offers a lot of versatility from input options to audio quality to display quality. In fact, I would actually echo what I said in the beginning of this video and go as far as saying that this is the best, most well-rounded gaming display on the market today. Especially when you consider the $599 price tag, BenQ really outdid themselves here with this thing. Aside from maybe going 4K and maybe adding another USB-C port since everything is heading in that direction, it's really hard for me to find a fault with the EX2780Q. For the price, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here. The colors are bright and vibrant, the sound quality is loud and crisp and booming, and it's just a very clean looking display for any studio or game room with those very thin bezels. When you consider all that you're getting here, BenQ really honestly made the EX2780Q a steal of a deal. Alrighty guys, so there you have it, the BenQ EX 2780Q in all of its glory. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. And also be sure to let me know in the comments box down below which your favorite way is to game. Do you like gaming on like a handheld console, on a monitor like this, on a big projector? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments box down below. And until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Get out there, go game, and have some fun. Peace. Cause I don't